In today's video, we're going to explore the rich side of Kenya, the modern side of the capital city of Nairobi. Some people told me that I came to Kenya to show the poverty, to show the bad side, and that's absolutely not true. When I go to a new place, I like to see the reality of things. I like to see the full spectrum. And in every place in the world, there is the rich side, there is the poor side, and there is the middle. And in this video, we're going to see the rich and the modern side. The building looks amazing. So many. And they're all luxurious. And this is their best shopping mall. Let's check it out. Because Kenya is one of the richest country in Africa and Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, it's the center of innovation and development. So it's true that in the city you have a lot of poor people, but here you also have a lot of, lot of rich people and rich areas. The city of Nairobi is very vibrant, is developing very, very fast. If you see around, there are a lot of constructions, a lot of new buildings, a lot of new hotels, a lot of new shopping malls. So it's growing extremely fast. And I cannot imagine like in five years, 10 years, this place is gonna be completely different from what it is right now and it's going to be very modern very advanced and very developed so to check out the rich side of nairobi in today's video i contact richard oh. richard yes yeah, richard. nice to meet you bro how are you good how are you i'm fine too very good nice yes. to meet you. he came to pick me up at my condo with a boxster motorbike a bajaj which is very common here and very popular he also came with his friend brandon and the three of us on a motorbike we started to explore the rich side of nairobi how much uh, this bike cost uh, like a new when i was buying it it was about uh, 148k 148 but right now it is going with 180 Wow, increase. Yeah, it is increasing every day. Oh, it's a nice bike. It's a nice bike. <laughs> yeah. The first step was to drink a coffee together, a coffee with a nice croissant at a very nice popular coffee chain here in Nairobi, which is called Art Cafe. They make really good coffee and also very good bakeries. And after that, we were ready to explore. Hopla. The first stop was where I actually stay, which is Westlands. You have a lot of tourists, a lot of expats live here. You have a lot of high rises, a lot of luxury hotels, four and five star hotels. Here they are opening a brand new luxury hotels, Pullman hotels. Villa Rosa Kempinski. So yeah. this is uh, one of the most expensive hotels yeah, in Nairobi. The, the five star hotel, yeah, the, the most expensive hotel. So Westlands is where you got all the luxury five-star yeah. hotels yeah you get jw marriott kempinski yeah. hyatt they're all around this area you have some nice office towers modern building and just by walking around westlands you can see that the area is developing extremely fast and this is a bmw nairobi the building looks amazing and it's probably the most modern area of the city. Here is also where you have the nightlife. Many people come to party here at night in Westlands. And here there is also a very nice shopping mall, which is called Westgate Shopping Mall. I came here almost every day because they have many shops, a lot of great restaurants. You can eat, you can shopping, you can hang out. It's a very nice area, probably my favorite area here in Nairobi. After that, we went to another neighbor, which is developing very, very fast as well. And it's becoming very modern. It's called Yaya. It's around the Yaya center. I guess the area is called Kilimani. So where we are now? Yeah, it's Yaya. Yaya. Yeah, it's also a rich area. There's a shopping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're scared for me. <laughs> There's shopping around. Uh, He's worried that I always so go in the water. Yaya is next to Kilimani. Ah. Kilimani is a rich area too. I think we are heading there. We're going there now. Yeah, yeah, we're heading there. All right, let's go. Here you can find a lot of new and modern condos. You can also see that they are building a lot. So this in few years is going to be a very nice area with nice apartment, nice swimming pool, like modern condominiums. So they're building a bunch of condos in the Yaya area. This one, Golden Mango Heights, price starts from 4.2 million. Here another one under construction. Yeah. So many. And they're all luxurious. They are building some new here. This one is almost complete and looks really nice. 
You also have nice cafes around here, nice restaurants. It's a nice area and I can definitely see that in few years it's gonna become even better and even more developed. How is the relationship between the rich and the poor in Nairobi? Some rich people are kind-hearted. Yeah. They like helping a lot. Yeah. But uh, some are not kind. They don't like helping. They don't like they helping. See, they see poor people as a like burden. They think that if they invite them to their places, they can steal. Ah. Yeah. So they others, keep like a distance. Yeah, others, yeah, they do keep distance. Others, they don't like helping a lot at all at all some people do some people don't it's very fascinating because here the rich and the poor they really live together it's like next door basically yeah. you have like one neighbor extremely rich extremely like a luxurious and then next door you have a slum yeah. so they really live like a next to each other yeah. and it's fascinating to see how they co-live together then with richard and brandon we moved to another rich neighbor in nairobi which is called mutaiga this neighbor is more exclusive is more private here you have a lot of consulates a lot of embassies a lot of private villas private houses there is not too much development around here but it's mainly nature you have a lot of trees the road is clean it's spacious it's very quiet it's not crowded there are not too many people around there is a lot of security everywhere it feels very safe so this area is called Yigiri, where we Kigiri. And they are the, the, among the rich areas yeah. in Kenya. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, all the embassies are here. Very exclusive areas. And they don't allow any recording around here, so yeah, we're just sneaking yeah. with the camera. Yeah, the recording is re restricted. Very Actually, restricted. restricted area. There is a lot of security around, yeah, yeah. a lot. So we are now in one of the nicest shopping mall here in Nairobi. It's called Village Market. It's in the nice area where you have all the embassy, the United Nations. It's a very cool and very luxurious shopping mall. Here in Nairobi, you have few more. So this is one of the nicest, but there are a few others here in Nairobi. There is Westgate. Two rivers and Garden City. So there are a few nice shopping malls here. Then we move to Runda. Runda is another exclusive neighbor, very rich. Also here is more like residential. Runda, I must say, is one of the richest people in Kenya. So we're now in the richest neighbor of Nairobi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rex. Very exclusive. You don't really come to Runga to hang out, but mostly people live there. They have big houses, big villas. It's very green, it's very spacious, it's very exclusive as well. So we just cruise around with the motorbike, we check some houses, we check the surrounding areas, but there is not really much to do there. It's more like a residential area. So obviously we cannot see much in this area because all the properties, all the estate, they're very private yeah. and they're inland. They're inside from the main road. But you can see that inside they have some huge houses. Very big. And after Runda, we went to check out another shopping mall, which is called Two Rivers. And this one, it's a huge shopping mall, probably the biggest shopping mall in Nairobi, it seems like. Also here you find everything and Kenyan people, foreign people like to go there to just hang out, eat and do the typical things that you do in a shopping mall. It's first time. First. So first time in Two Rivers and first time in uh, yeah, Village Market. Village Market. Yeah. So I have a question for you. Okay. Which one you like more? <laughs> I think I like the, the Village Market more. Yeah. Yeah. Same me. Yeah, this one is bigger, but the village market is more the, okay, the, fancy. A lot of uh, empty space. Yeah, empty space. The village market, as you saw, it was somewhat busy. Yeah. Very busy. Yeah, and the design yeah, also. Shopping, the design, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it was very nice. They have a little uh, Mazai market here inside the Two River shopping mall. I really like this one. Okay. Also the color. This, this is really my style, yeah. yeah it's a nice then it was time to take a break and have lunch. Together with Richard, we went to CBD, which is Central Business District. It's the downtown of Nairobi. And I tried for the first time Ugali and beef. <laughs> Ugali. Ugali. Yeah. That is the only food that anyone from Kenya can afford. Ugali. Yeah, the flour that makes Ugali mm. in Swahili is called the Unga. Unga. So when the price of unga goes high, every Kenyan cries because mm. it is the only meal that everyone can afford. And look at this. Yeah. Beef stew with ugali. And ugali. And yours is uh, also beef? Beef and rice. Yeah, it's hot. So you, <laughs> you want to eat it, 
Uh-huh. When you took it like this, you squeeze with your hand. Ah. So that it can be fun. Man, after that Ugali, I feel so sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I thought most of the people do feel dizziness, just feel sleepy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Because it's very heavy. <laughs> yeah, it is very, very heavy, bro. Yeah, actually, I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> you forget to tell. And after that, we just walk a few hundred meters and we check out the Maasai market. So I'm now at the famous Maasai market. This market is only on Saturday and Sunday. It's in the CBD area. The Maasai market is a very popular market in Nairobi, in CBD, in downtown. But it's really nice because you can find a lot of things, especially local things for a tourist is perfect because you have all the authentic stuff so this market is really big a lot of shops and a lot of people just uh, hustle you a lot everybody try to bring you to their shop but they sell very nice things, like very authentic. You can find a lot of uh, Kenyan products, a lot of souvenirs, a lot of products that you can buy and bring home. For me, I bought a nice African short, which I really, really like. Say 1500. Oh. The last price. Budget is 1000 here. Yeah. For this one? Yeah. <laughs> no? Make one four. That's <laughs> okay. Make one four. One two is okay. And I want to buy more because I really enjoy this design and this style, so I will probably buy more in the future. What do you think? Make the, co the color. But it's great to hang out, walk around, and just experience this Kenyan market. Is how much? 20? You have 20? Yes. I left it to oh, the yeah? soldier. <laughs> And then I ended the tour of the rich side of Nairobi in another very exclusive neighbor, which is called Karen. Karen is a big neighbor. You basically have nature everywhere. You also have the giraffe center in Karen. You also have the golf club in Karen. The cool thing about Karen is that it's right next to the Nairobi National Park. And also in this neighbor, you have the giraffe center, which is a very nice place where you can feed the giraffe. And it's also one of the main attractions of Nairobi. So yeah, Karen, it's a bit in the southern part of uh, Nairobi. And also also here there is not too much to see if you go around because it's mainly like big mansions big properties here you find a lot of politicians a lot of celebrities it's a very exclusive area to live here and that's all for the rich side of Nairobi the modern side the developed side I really enjoyed doing this tour because now I have kind of an overview of Nairobi I know different neighbors I know the location I know the different vibes of each neighbor so I learn a lot of things about Nairobi but stay tuned because in the next video Richard and Brandon they invite me to their homes and and their homes is not in a rich neighbor of Nairobi, but it's probably in one of the poorest area of the capital, which is called Kibera. This is the biggest slum in Africa, and they both live there. So they invite me home, and it's a beautiful experience. I have such a great time with them and with their family. So this is my place. Oh wow, man! Yeah, this is your home. This is my home, man. Yeah, what a honor so, to be here. <laughs> Thank you. So we go from one extreme to the other extreme. And personally, what I notice is that every time I go to these humble neighbors, I find a lot of love, a lot of connection, a lot of humanity. And this fills my heart. My sister normally sleeps with me and dad normally sleeps with mom. All right. <laughs> what a beautiful bed. Your English is amazing. Yeah, she's Thank You speak you. very good English. Much more than seeing a modern condominium or a modern shopping mall at least that's for me but thank you so much guys for watching this video let me know in the comments down below what do you think share your opinion share your feedbacks if you are from kenya or from nairobi share additional informations because obviously i'm new here i'm just a tourist so i try to give an overview but of course i don't have much experience as you do so leave your comments down below thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye